to do the filtration we need filter flask bushner flask and a filter paper along with a cone now it is expected from all of you that you understand and you have learned so far how to perform a filtration however i will still remind few basic concepts first is you need to make sure you wet the filter paper otherwise filter paper i will not stick to the flask you can use deionized water and you can see that the paper is not falling out second you need to make sure the paper covers all the holes of the bushner flask you can see that it is covering and it is sticking nicely to the uh, base of the bushner funnel and then you clamp it and you apply vacuum basically you need to connect vacuum line to the filter flask then you swirl uh, your aluminum flask and you transfer all the solid on the filter paper try to take out the maximum amount of solid from the flask so to take out the maximum you will be rinsing with few drops of ethanol make sure you don't touch your ethanol bottle to the flask otherwise you are contaminating the whole bottle of ethanol now transfer you will notice that i still have some solid left maybe i can rinse one more time you know just to make sure i take out the maximum you will notice uh, there are still few particles left but that's completely fine you know you don't need to fight to take out every particle once i transfer all the solid uh, i want to make sure that all the solid has been dried properly to do, do that i'm using a spatula and i'm spreading all the solid on the filter paper just to make sure my solid is free flowing just like you have learned or you have performed previously you know you always uh, spread the solid you break big chunk into small pieces or you try to make it a powder to make sure uh, it it is it is well well dry and this is a crude product the meaning of crude is it is not pure we might need to purify this product however uh, i still i first i want to write all my observation in the notebook i will be sharing all my observations with you with you all while i am writing my observations uh, my my solid product is still drying on the vacuum and i am again using spatula and i i i i observe that it is a nicely free flowing solid is present in the bushner flask at this point i can remove the vacuum line and close the vacuum line write it in your notebook what you did once i have all the solid ah uh, i want to make sure i check the amount of product i got even though it is crude material i still want to record in my notebook how much uh, product i got so maybe i forgot something and i forgot my notebook you know when you go to the weighing balance you need to make sure you go along with your notebook because 
whatever number you observe you need to write down in your notebook so what i'm going to do is first i tear the machine to make sure it is zero then i'm going to put a filter paper put a weighing paper sorry put a weighing paper and going to write down the weight of paper in my notebook Make sure you close the weighing machine. Then I'm going to transfer. I, I'm folding the paper to make sure. And I will transfer most of the solid as much as I can take it out. I'm tapping it slowly to make sure. And then I'm going to check the weight again. And you can see that it is 2.845 gram of product along with weight of paper. So I can subtract the weight of paper and that will be the weight of my crude product. You know, 